So another lesson today, today it's traffic lights. And if you're wondering why I'm sitting here, that's because I'm gonna demonstrate first. Instead of trying to explain with a tablet computer or a piece of paper and writing things, I'm just gonna show Emily what we need to do. So up ahead we have traffic lights and we're turning right. When our light goes green, can we just turn right or is there anything we need to wait for? When we Cyclists. get a green light. Cyclists, where from? Everywhere. Okay, anything else? Well, they're green now, aren't Pedestrians. they? Pedestrians. Pedestrians. Car giving way to cars going the other way. Going the other way, yeah. So you notice we've got a green light and the oncoming cars have a green light? Yeah. So we have to wait for them because we're turning in front of their path. Yeah. And that's what I wanted to show you instead of explaining. It's oh. just much easier to show you here. Look, you see how they're waiting in the middle? Now yeah. the lights go red, the cars in the middle finish. So they're going to finish now. But the cars waiting before the stop line have to wait. Oh, right. And you see the Mercedes in front? That's yeah. actually stopped over the two lines. You shouldn't do that. You should wait before the first line mm. and only go into the middle of the junction when you can clear both lines. Okay. So that if the lights turn red, you don't get stuck on that cycle area like the Mercedes. And that van there, which is kind no, of... No, they stopped before, the van is stopped before the line. Oh, the van's See? good. It's just That's the what you should do. Over. When the lights go green, go to the middle. I'll show you soon when they go green again. If the queue is so long that you can't get to the middle, wait before the lines. Oh, okay. There is two lines there. You should stop at the first. The only time you should stop at the second is if the lights change and you don't have time to stop at the first. Ah, okay. Then you can stop at the second, but you shouldn't voluntarily just drive up to that point. So you see now it's green, we've got oncoming cars we need to wait for as well. This Mercedes is taking a little bit of time, so I'm gonna wait until I get past those two lines. Now I will. Yeah. I'll go into the middle to wait here and get about three cars in the middle here. And we, we wait around about here. The Mercedes is a bit too far forward because oncoming cars have got to turn before us here. Mm -hmm. And now it's gone red, cars in the middle finish. See, they're waiting, everything's red. They're red as well. Don't wait at these ones. Okay. They're the secondary light mm -hmm. for cars that are currently behind us coming from the other way so they can see the traffic lights better. Oh, so I ignore that. If I'm in the middle of the road, can I just follow it through? Finish, yeah. The traffic lights apply to a stop line. There's no okay. stop line there. That, those lights are just to help others see their lights. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a lot. I'll do it though. First try, perfect. So these lights, we need to ignore them when we're less than three seconds away. So ignore now, you see? We carry on through because we don't want to slam on the brakes. Right. And just as I ignored them, they changed the amber, didn't they? Yeah. What you don't want to do is when they change the amber, then you think, should I stop or shouldn't I stop? That's going to take a couple of seconds. Amber lasts three seconds. Oh, right. That's why when you're less than three seconds away, it's better just to continue and not hammer on the brakes. Amber yep. means stop, unless doing so could cause a collision. So if you can stop, do stop, but don't hammer on the brake hard. And that's why you want to plan as you approach the lights, when to ignore them. We will practice when to ignore them. I'll be asking you, tell me when to ignore. Mm -hmm. And you'll say ignore now. And if you're early, I'll say it's a bit early, you probably want to ignore later. And if you're a bit late, I'll say maybe make it earlier until you start to get that judgment of when you need to go. Okay, I'm committed for the lights now. I'm going through even if they change. Yeah. Okay. What happens if it's red? Like you go up to it, it's amber, and you're about three seconds away, and then suddenly it goes red. Do you still ignore it, or do you have to? Is that when you have to slam on the brake? That shouldn't happen. Because that would happen if you ignored too early. Oh right. See? So if you ignore perfectly, then it won't happen. Yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect, but there is quite a tight quite a tight margin. Ah, right. It does take some getting used to, to know when you're committed. The best thing to do is if you feel like you have to hammer on the brakes, go. But it's better to think about it on your way there so you're prepared. Oh, okay. Because if you have to think about it, that's gonna take away your stopping time. Mm. You're gonna be like, do I need to stop? Uh, oh, and, and by the time you've done that, you've lost half your stopping time or more. And that could cause a bit of an issue. And that's, that was a good example there because just as I said ignore, they changed. So I knew exactly what I was doing the moment those lights did what they did. You're like, I'm gonna go. Yeah. yeah. I think you're gonna find this easier than you think. Really? Once you've done it 50 times, yeah. 50? <laughs> oh dear. 
I don't reckon it would take me 50 times, maybe 10. I think I'll try and aim for a goal, you know, 10 times. After 10 times, just get perfect every time. 50 is a very convenient round number, isn't it? Most people won't be good at lights the 10th time they do them. Oh, about 20. I don't really know. I've never counted, but it does take, does take a bit of practice. Okay. But that's, don't worry about it. Just do it. I'll help keep you safe and learn from the errors. That's what I'm scared of, though, making errors that could potentially not cause a massive incident, but annoy other people on the road. Well, that's why, <clears throat> excuse me, that's why we started in the nursery area, mm. learning how to control the car. Then we did a couple of circles where you're learning how to prepare the car for junctions, walking and jogging. Yeah. So you've already got a lot of the skill you need. You're just adding to it. But it's not perfected though, that's what I'm worried about. So other people, I'm scared of it, I'm gonna, I don't know, be, do something a little bit silly. Then I'm gonna get other people re be really annoyed behind me or cause a bit of a traffic. That will probably no. happen. Oh, okay. When, when you're learning to drive, you're not going to be up to speed. You're not gonna be as quick as the person behind you necessarily wants you to be. Right. But you have to accept that. Yeah. An instructor has to accept that. If I was worried about that, I'll be putting my um, anxiety and pressure onto you. Yeah. And that would, that would hurt you. Right. So I have to understand you're going to take longer. And it's better if you understand that as well. Okay. But I'll make sure where I take you is not too difficult that you're going to be a complete nuisance. You're going right. to be a bit slower than everybody else, yes. You may even stall, but you're not going to be dangerous. Okay. You're going to be safe, and that's my goal, safety. Okay, okay. Right, we've got some more traffic lights coming up now. Okay. I think they'll probably go red. You see the keep clear? Yeah. So make sure you don't stop on the keep clear. I'm going to let the van go because it's traffic. I let one go, then I go. So we're going right at these traffic lights. Mirror signal yeah. right. So I'm going to ignore the lights now. I'm going through. Now here, I'm going to the middle, a bit more to the right, so cars behind can fit past me on the left. And now it's red, cars in the middle finish. Those oncoming cars be stopping. Yep. Also, I'm making sure on the right here, I'm not going to run anyone over. Oh, okay. But the people will have a red traffic light for pedestrians. The but there could be people still crossing, so be aware, still look yeah. to the right. How far do I stop from my car if I'm in traffic? Try and so, so, still see their tyres at the front window. Okay. If you can't see their tyres and you can only like see their rear lights, you're too close. Okay. You want to feel like you have room to drive round them if you needed to. Ah, uh, okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Don't worry, I'm going to give you lots of help. Okay. So I'll, I'll help you with walking and jogging, you've learnt it, but I'll help you with that anyway. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you where to go. I just wanted to give you that introduction so you already have an idea of what we've got to do who we got to wait for, where we got to wait. And when I say ignore the lights, you know what I mean. Yeah, okay. Can you tell me where to go on the lights though? So you mean the direction? Yeah. You always get directions. I'll always give you directions, don't worry. Okay. Unless we're doing like a mock test with the sat nav or following the signs. So I will tell you where to go. You should follow the road ahead unless I say left or right. Okay. So I don't say anything and you come to a junction, just go straight. Okay. But we're probably not going to get those kinds of junctions today anyway. You might do. We'll see. End my, of road left. My route in my head, it's not going to include those. Okay. You ready? Yeah, let's go. What did you say? End of road left? End of road left. Oh, I, I know what you're saying. <laughs> Move away when you're ready, the, please. The Richard slander. That's my, uh, that's my examiner Jason, isn't it? Yeah. The engine's running. Oh, is it? Oh. Yeah, that's already been turned on. I would signal here. Oh, yep. it's all right. Because we have the oncoming car. Okay. So if there's anyone around, when you get going, just pop your signal on. Okay. So they know you're going to come. Do you know where the car jumped there? No. Because you didn't let the clutch finish. Oh, right. It was still sinking up. Probably because I started talking. No, I think I just did something silly. So are you ready to go to the next gear? Yeah. Okay. And then you go. As fast as you can, that's safe and legal. So what's legal here? 30. 
Okay, and then you just go as quick as you can within that 30 to what you think is safe. You're getting so much better at those gears. I like the way you're listening to that gear stick. I can see you're letting it show you the middle. Yeah. And you're guiding it, you're not telling it, you're not forcing it. Because then, then I kept putting it in the wrong gear. Or I get close to putting it in the wrong gear if I just jammed it in everywhere. So I was like, I'm going to be more careful with it. So then now I actually know exactly where the gear is. So if you come off the gas, start braking now. Start braking a bit more. And stay here, get second gear. And then clutch up and carry on through. Because as we approach that car, we've got to be prepared to stop in case someone comes the other way oh, okay. until we get to it, until we can see far enough, then use the gas. Try not to press the clutch down as soon as you want to slow down, because that took away your slowing down there, and that yeah. meant we were late. So traffic okay. lights were going right. So going the right. routine, it's a walker, a red light's a walker. Don't do it yet, because it's still far away. Right lane, so it's mirror signal right. That's it. Cover the brake and clutch, and you want to be walking about two car lengths before the line. So get the clutch down now, use that brake, that's it, off the brake, let it walk. Now you get first gear, and then gently stop at the line with the brake. You want to keep covering the brake as you're walking, because you're going to okay. use it again, probably. So you've already done all this. Yep. You know what to do, I'll, I'll guide you. We're going to turn right. We've got a lot of oncoming cars. It's green now, so move into the middle, and we'll wait in the middle. So clutch down, and the car will walk, see? Just let it walk forward. I'll guide your position. You want to be a bit more to the right here. Okay. Now stop just before the middle with the brake, so that oncoming cars turning in front of you that way yeah. have room to turn before you. Okay. And then when there's no oncoming cars, we can go, or when it's red, we can go. So we can go now. So gas and lift clutch, and we'll be off. They're waiting, so look right, steer into your road, and just give them time to finish. I'll take the steering off for you, because you're steering a bit too much there. I'm scared of them. I don't want them the right. ones to, to go with them. Clutch up carefully now. Sorry. All the way up, and now use your gas, your car, to yeah. carry on. Because you panicked and pushed the clutch down there, didn't you? Don't worry, you had time. The, the people were waiting. The other people were crossing. But by the time you were going to get to them, they would have been out of the way. But just in case, I just The best panicked. thing to do there would just be to come off that gas pedal. Yeah. And let the car slow instead of pressing the clutch down. Okay. And coasting. So a bit more to the right. Go around this car. Cheers. Like this? Yeah. And then centre left mirror to come back to your half. You can go a little bit faster. I think you can go faster here. It's a traffic light sign, isn't there? Yeah. Can you see the traffic lights ahead? Cover, brake, and clutch. Steering a little bit too much there. And let it slow down. Don't go for the clutch. You're starting to get into that habit. Most learners get into it, just pressing the clutch down. Yeah. Now the revs are low. Now press the clutch down. Walk with the brake. First gear. A little bit more brake. I'll help so we don't go over the line. Yeah. The road bends to the right here, so we're going up there. Okay. Now gas and lift clutch to go. That's it. Take your time. Don't rush. Good. It's important not to rush when you get that green light. Okay. And you feel like, oh, I've got to go. There's cars behind. Take your time. Good. Changing gear. Now we have parked cars obstructions. Kind of hard to avoid. Yeah. What you want to do is try and aim for the space that you're going to use. In between. Yes. Yeah, so aim for that here. Just check your centre right mirror. And because cars are on both sides, it's first come, first serve. We're going to be there first now. So we will yep. go there, wait for us. And okay. now you centre left mirror for cyclists on the left and bring it back to the left. And you can use your gas now to go as fast as you want, safe and legal. We've got a cue, so start braking. Don't go for the clutch, go for the brake. The clutch doesn't slow you down. Coming off the gas slows you down. Now clutch down, now the revs are low so that we don't stall. And control the brake for your speed. And now first gear, and stop here, about this far away. On camera, the distance between us and the car in front is going to look different. At the moment, we can just about see their tyres. Um, is that a bit closer? Is that okay? Tiny bit further back would be better, but this is okay. Okay. We can't quite see the tyres touching the ground, but almost. So you're in first gear. Don't rush now. Don't try and keep up. Just go at your own pace. At the moment, you're a bit close, aren't you? Yeah. I'm covering the brake because uh, I don't want to be that close in case they stop suddenly. Okay. So don't feel like you've got to stay stuck to their bum. You don't need, you don't need to stay stuck to that the rear of the BMW, take your time now. That's it, good. Now come fully off the clutch, 
and try and use your gas to control the speed. You're getting into that habit of going for the clutch every time you want to slow down because you know at some point you will need the clutch. Yeah. So you're just getting it over and done with, but it doesn't help. Okay. Come off the gas now, no clutch. You see how it slows you down? Yeah. If you press the clutch down, that wouldn't happen. Oh, right. Go away from this fan, please. And now clutch down because the, the revs are at the bottom and the car's pulling you along and finish the stop with your brake. That's good. Now take your time with the pedals. Don't try and keep up in your own time. That's nice. Okay. That's lovely. We ain't got anywhere to go, have we? We're in traffic. Yeah. And now your gas and your brake controls the speed. Don't okay, think keep the clutch down now. Oh, yep. Because you're probably not going to change the second gear. You should start braking yeah. and start slowing down. Because as you push the clutch down there, it's just as you want it to slow down. Yeah. So then just keep it down and brake. Brake a bit more and stop. When you pass the cars, try and leave them enough room in case they open their doors as well. That's why I pushed okay. you away a little bit ah, there. Okay. Yeah. So what you can do, what a lot of people suggest, is when you're waiting, pull the handbrake up. Don't do it though. So you can come off the foot brake mm. and put it in neutral so that you can come off the clutch. Ah, okay. Now later on, if you want to do that, we can do that. But at the moment, you're at a stage where it's only going to stress you out more because you can have more to do, aren't you? Yeah. And you've already got a lot on your plate. So I recommend just waiting with your foot on the brake for now. Okay. In gear with the clutch down mm -hmm. so that you're ready to go. So we're going soon. Yeah. Everyone's moving. But later on, we'll probably probably be putting it in neutral more to save the clutch. It's not good for the clutch holding it down all the time. But I'll sacrifice my clutch <laughs> to make it a bit easier for you now. A little bit of gas, but take your time. Lovely. Really nice. Now, fully off the clutch, you feel it's done, can't you? Yeah. Now the gas is controlling your speed. A little bit faster now. What colour are the lights? Red. Try to stay off the cycle lane on the left. Can you see that? A lot of people miss that there. Can you see it on the left over there? Oh, yeah, that little yeah, bit. Make sure you miss that. We're going right at the lights. So it's mirrors, signal, cover, S brake and clutch. Speed. Yeah. Clutch down and stop. So you need the clutch down first now because you're really slow. Yeah. And if you try to brake, well, your car's going to stall. Yeah. So when you're slow like that, yeah, clutch down first. But when you're at speed, use your gas and brake to control your speed. Okay. Worry about the clutch when you get slow. Okay, so clutch when I get to about 1,000 revs. 1,000 revs, that's a minimum engine speed. Where it is now, that's a minimum. Okay. This car usually stalls at about 500 revs. At the moment, it's at 700. So that's really your minimum. Okay. So remember, we're going right here. Yep. Signal right. And when we go forwards, we're going to go to the right a bit. Try and follow the line on your right. Yep. So cars behind want to go straight and go past me on the left. Okay. I might help with the steering to guide you. It's hard to see because the sun here. So a bit over here like that. Yep. Off the clutch fully now. Okay. Keep going. A little bit further forwards. Any oncoming cars? A bit more gas. Not from that side. Right, no. Clutch down and then stop because we've got this oncoming van now. And stop here. Wait for the van. Have you got time to go after this van? Yeah. Okay, gas and lift clutch and turn right. Look right as well to make sure it's clear. There we go, well done. Look far to help you know when to straighten. Because a lot of people go to go into the island on the right here. And now drive up the road. That's what you need to do. So you wait in the middle for the oncoming traffic. And then when it's clear, you can go. Or if it goes red, you can go. Yeah. What I want you to improve is when you're driving down the road, aim for space. You're not bad at it. But you do tend to aim a little bit at the parked cars. You're sort of, sort of doing it, but sometimes you go back towards those parked cars. Okay. So you see the silver car on the left? Yeah. Don't aim for that. Aim for the Space. gap between the silver car and the van. See this oncoming micro, that turquoise car? Yeah. Aim for that gap. At the moment, it's sort of drifting towards the cars. I'm seeing a space to go through, and you're sort of, you're still doing it there. You're heading left. I'm scared I'm when they go into space. the wrong, to their lane. That's the next thing I was going to mention. That's where a lot of people go wrong. They think that this line matters. Space matters. Okay. When you've got parked cars, space matters. In fact, most of the time you're driving, it's the space that you are dealing with. Yeah. Do not follow the line in the middle of the road. If you follow that line in the middle of the road, I can show you somewhere that will make you hit a tree. I, all right. Follow the space. And these lines are broken, which means you can drive over them if you need to. So a bit further from the parked cars, that's better. So you've got full doors with, also it's improving your view up ahead, isn't it? Yeah. And look how much see. space there is. Look how much space there is between the parked cars and that white car. Lots Focus of space. on that. Yeah, look at that. Go for that space. Left knee in the middle of that. So I would be 
there. Now we have a more equal gap between the parked cars and the oncoming traffic. Yeah. I'm not following the lines in the middle. Mm. And as the cars get closer, try and keep your distance. Okay. So look at the gap between the parked cars and the van, ignore the white lines, head for the middle of that gap. That's better. Centre left mirror now to come back to your side of the road, no cycle set, and we have a right turn okay. after the traffic lights. So don't go for the clutch. I'm just covering it. Good. Centre right mirror, right signal, second gear. Ignore the lights now, we're too close to stop. Just about here is where you want to position yourself. It's hard to know with the position here because the lights are faded. Clutch up. Anyone coming? Nope. You can go there, make your turn. Look far to help yourself straighten. Start straightening before it's late, so you're going towards the island, and try and yeah. pass your hands. So you're sort of doing this. So race car driving. And then you use your gas. That's not race car driving. That's very different, that's something else. That's, that's learner driving, early learner driving. So you want to get used to passing your hands. Okay. So you have better control, better hold, better grip of the wheel. Yeah. And I would like you to pull over at the side of the road, please. Look at the kerb, that's it. A bit closer. Off the brakes, you've got a bit more time. Get a bit closer. Careful, not that much. And then gently brake. That's it. So when you make an adjustment, when you are starting to get close, make your adjustments smaller. Because okay. if you do a big adjustment when you're already close, yeah. you might hit it. See where the kerb is at the front of the window? Yeah. Where it lines up with the bottom? Just remind yourself it's about there. That's where you want it. And I'll show you what that looks like. Quite good. Yeah. Close. yeah, actually, I probably made you get a bit bit closer there than, than ideal. You've only got about that much space left, haven't you? Yeah. That's sort of what I'm aiming for. You don't need to get that close. Get within a drain. Yeah. And if you want to get close, go in reverse and use your mirror. I don't have to do that yet, though. We'll learn that later. Right, so, should we turn the cameras off and practice? Yeah. Or should we leave them on? Oh, no, please turn them off. They've seen, it. They've seen the mess as me doing it once. You want to have some practice? Yeah. Okay. We'll do that then, and you'll see Emily's progress soon. Actually, before Emily gets to practicing it, you probably want to hear the questions she has to ask. So, do you have any questions about that drive? Anything you're not sure about? A couple. So, with the pedestrians, obviously I panicked. Ah, uh -huh, yeah. What do you do if they, if you're going across the crossing like I was, mm -hmm. and then there's people who are somewhat close, the people that are waiting, but they were kind of hesitating a bit. What do you do about them? Should I just stop and let them go? Do I just go through? At traffic lights, you mm. don't want to encourage pedestrians across the road. Okay. You have to clear the junction. So mm. the lights have gone red now. You're in the middle. You need to clear when it's safe to do so. Yeah. Cars from the sides are going to start coming soon. You don't want to be blocking traffic. So if a pedestrian walks in front of you, yeah. slow down and give them time to finish but don't then start actively giving way for more pedestrians to cross. So once then, so when, when them two boys were finished, I should literally just... Yeah, the timing of that was okay, that when they started crossing, and they started crossing because you're learning, you're a bit slow, they felt they had time. And to be fair, they didn't really have time actually, but enough time that all you needed to do was just stay slow for a bit, they would have finished, and then you carry on. You could see, the other pedestrians waiting weren't looking like they were going to cross. You could tell by their body language they were waiting, weren't they? Because yeah. if they were going to cross, they would start crossing. So what I do in that situation is to slow down enough that they have time to finish and then carry on through. If you're not sure that a pedestrian is going to walk in front of you, if they look sketchy, yeah. then obviously slow down and make sure you're at a speed that if they do walk in front of you, you can stop. Okay. But at traffic lights, don't actively encourage pedestrians to cross the road. They so should, don't like wave them across, but like, yeah, it's yeah, fine. They should be, we should be using the traffic lights. Okay. There is a, a, a new rule in the highway code that states at a junction that you're turning into or out of, you should, you don't have to, you should oh, right. wait for pedestrians who are waiting to cross the road. So if they're right at the start of the junction, it's just... And do that if it's safe to do that. If you feel it's unsafe to do that, then don't. Okay. So there's going to be times when it's not like, for example, you're on, a, you're on a roundabout, fast roundabout, multiple lanes, you're leaving. You don't really want to be stopping traffic on a flowing junction like that. Yeah. That's going to cause a lot more harm than good. Okay. If a pedestrian looks like they're going to cross in front of you, of course. Give way and wait. 
But Some kids are run in front of it. Like, I wouldn't be actively encouraging pedestrians to walk into a busy road, especially if there's multiple lanes. Okay. That's not safe. Any other questions? So when I was driving down the bit with the cr crossy, I can't remember what it's called. It was like a dual carriageway type thing. We haven't done any dual carriageways. Alright, my I am not do, I have not done my theory test yet. I have not got the time to do my theory test. So explain it to me. It was the bit right at the end where you were like uh, taking me away from the cars, parked cars. Right, the positioning. So yeah. the, the positioning. How do you know you're not on their side of the road? People coming towards you. It's irrelevant. But what and I that's where you're going wrong because you're thinking that's their side of the road. This is my side of the road. And that's where a lot of learners go wrong. They think they've got right. to keep it in their side of the road, even when they're passing a parked car, meaning they get super close to the parked car. The danger is the parked car. That's where people are going to walk out from. That's where doors are going to open. That's yeah. where the danger is going to come from. Oh, the okay. oncoming car, you can see. You know where they are. Yeah. You can see them. They can see you. And if they're giving you space to go through, use that space. Ah, okay. If you're using 90%, oh, oh, that's a bad, that's a bad number. doesn't matter how much of their side of the road you're using, less or more, as long as there's space for you and them. That's what you want to be thinking of. Ah, okay. If there's not space for you and them, then we wait. If there is space, and sometimes you'll see they move to, the, to their side a little bit more to help give you room. Like kind of slightly. Yeah. And if you come out early and ask, that's why when you approach a parked vehicle, you want to be starting to position yourself to the right more. Because yeah. that's your signal to go past. You don't really want to use your indicators. That looks like you're turning right. People are going to assume you're turning right if you indicate right. Right, yeah. Your position should be going towards the right a little bit to say, look, I want to go past these parked cars. And often you'll see oncoming cars start to respond and start helping. If there's room, go through. If not, wait. Yeah. Don't pay attention to the centre line or the middle of the road when you're dealing with parked vehicles. Okay. Just space. Any other questions? No, there are only ones, really. Okay. Right, so I'll turn the cameras off again. We will get some practice in and hopefully, if you have any questions, hopefully I'll get it on camera so you can see the questions as well. And hopefully you can learn from this. So Emily has had one round with the cameras off, one round of the circle. It's free traffic lights, isn't there, in that circle. Um, yeah. We're going to turn the cameras on again and see how you get on. Okay. See what the struggles are and what needs improving. Anything you're struggling with? Turning. Turning? Yeah. In what way? Well, well, mainly slowing down on time. Like, some, my braking can be... I'll, like, slow down, and then <clears> I want to try and get to the perfect point behind that car, so then I'm like, oh, crap, I'm not going to do it on time. So I just kind of slam the brake on a bit. And then turning as well, that right turn as well. Like, I think I turn a little bit too much. Okay, so... And then when I'm feeding it through, I don't do it fast enough. With the braking, that's a common issue, and that's because you're not focusing on the braking. You're thinking about something else. And when you're approaching a red traffic light, Braking is probably where your mind needs to be. Not okay. only on braking, but mostly. I think mm. you're, I'm not sure what you're thinking about, but you're worrying about other things. I'm worrying about not Focus crashing Focus on car, slowing right? down and you will slow down well. Okay. You said worrying about crashing into the car in front. Yeah. If you're worrying about that, you're not focusing on slowing down. Mm, true. So look at the space where you want to stop. Walk before you stop. So okay. two car lengths, one to two car lengths before where you want to stop, get the car to walking speed and roll. Okay. Then you can get your gear mm -hmm. and then you can stop. And that's why I've taught you to walk. Yeah. Useful everywhere. If you can walk and you can jog, I feel confident that you can do all junctions with my help until yeah. you learn those junctions and how they are. Okay. You have the basics there. When it comes to steering, what I've noticed you've started doing is you started steering very quickly like a sudden whoosh of the wheel, yeah. which isn't very measured. So you can end up putting a bit too much on. Also, when you straighten up, you're not starting to straighten up before the car's straight. Right. You're waiting for the car to finish the turn and then you're gonna start unwinding the wheel. All yeah. the time you're unwinding the wheel, the car's still turning. Oh, right. So what you wanna do is when you're about three quarters of the way round, mm -hmm. very slowly start to unwind the wheel Gently. Like this. Literally that slow. And when people do that, if they start doing that early, their brain can start to then calculate, oh, I need to speed up now. Oh, okay. But if you're not steering at all and you're holding it there, it's hard to judge when to straighten. But really slowly, start like this, really slowly. And I find that really helps people go, all right, now. And then they finish it. 
helps very you judge gently, it. and then yeah. suddenly they just. I'll tell you when to start straightening. That will help you. Also, don't go for the clutch. So if you need to slow down and something up ahead, cover the brake. Yeah. Cover the clutch as well, but cover the brake. The car will be slowing down. Because what can happen is you're on the gas, and most learners do this at some point, and they'll go danger, clutch down, and even the revs will start going up because they're still on the gas. That's what I did, wasn't it? When um, we got to the thing, I was just. It's normal. Someone coming at me, clutch down. It's normal. You're, you've learnt that when you stop, you need clutch down. Yeah. So your brain is now like, stop. I know I need to do that. Let's do that. That's the easy bit. Get that down. <laughs> clutch down. But. You don't have engine braking. If you see a problem off the gas, you're slowing down straight away. Yeah. And given the speeds we're doing where we are, that can often, sometimes actually, no, often, often be all you need. Just come off gas. And it slows down, and then by the time you get there, oh, it's okay, get on the gas and go again. Oh, okay. So and if, and, if, it's not, and if it's not enough, then add brake. So see what the car's going to give you before you go and press the clutch down. And when the revs are low and you think, well, I can't slow down anymore now without making yeah. the car struggle or stall, then pop your clutch down. Nothing when we're glancing at the revs just to see if, where they are. If they're getting near a foul. Don't watch them. Don't watch them drop. Watch the road. But if you're thinking, do I need clutch? Yeah. Just glance down. If they're still at 1,500 revs, leave the clutch up. If they're getting near a 1,000, Think, okay, I need to slow down more, push it down. If you think you don't need to slow down more and they're near a thousand, yeah, leave it. And then when you mm. want to go, gas and go up because it goes below a thousand, doesn't it? Yeah, if the car's struggling, then push the clutch down. Okay, so you ready? <sighs> Why are you torturing me, Richard? I swear, this is torture. Yeah, no, it's not, it's fun, it's a little bit of torture. Okay, it's not intentional, it's scary. It's, I'm, I'm scared of just crashing or hurting myself or hurting someone so then I don't I don't know it's a bit of anxiety at driving still well remember I have pedals I have the dual controls oh true so if something happens I just trust I'm trusting you you're better than you think you are as well and it's your own self doubt that stops you from focusing on what you need to do gets in the way yeah so just try and believe in yourself point to point remember dot to dot dot to dot I need to stop there, or well, I need to go there, one point at a time. So at the moment, the next dot is that parked car down there. See that parked car? The, the learner. On the right? Yeah. So oncoming cars need to wait for you there, but they might not be. So just be ready to slow down in case they don't. Okay. But the next parked car further up, see all the way up there around the bend? Uh, that really small, well. isn't it? That silver car, you might have to wait there. Okay. So as you're approaching that, you'll be thinking, well, I'm going to slow down as I approach that until I know I can go past it. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. Ooh. You made it harder now. <laughs> oh my God, that was awful. <laughs> yeah, if you lift up too many clicks, it can be hard to get off. Just indicate right, got the oncoming car. You see, that really helps them decide yeah. where they need to go. So cancel the ticker and further from the curb. There you go. And steer as well. Think about your steering. So as you're doing your gear, you are drifting around a little bit there. You don't always do that. To be fair, you are getting better at that. See, so you drive the camera's curb a little bit. Yeah. Look at the space next to the oncoming van. Well, now it's the oncoming car, and go for the middle of that space. So the next dot, the next point, is the silver learner car parked at the side of the road. Position yeah. yourself to the right of your half, and start slowing down a little bit. Don't go in the other side yet. Now think, do you have time to make it or you're not sure? No, I don't have time. Cover the brake, but stay near the middle. Stay because your signal is you want to go around. Now do you have time? Yeah. So mirrors and go around. Not your indicator, your position oh. is your signal. And then add gas to carry on. And then mirrors, centre left mirror to come back. Now focus on your position. It's about just focusing on the right thing at the right time. Focus on your position now okay. and you'll be okay with that. Yeah. Now you see the parked vehicle. Focus on staying near the middle of the road because you want to tell people you want to go around, but also focus on slowing down now with the brake if necessary until you're sure you can make it past. Now, do you think you're going to be able to get past or do you need to wait? What do you think? I need to, uh, no, I can go through them. Check your mirrors and now you can go. So you slow down, get closer, then make the decision. There's a bend you can't see very far, can you? No, not And so. centre left mirror to come back. We're turning right at the traffic lights. Right at the traffic Stay lights. Stay near the line on the right. Stay near the middle because that will get you in your right lane. There is a parked vehicle on the right, a silver car, so you may have to move left a little bit to help people through, but I think there's enough room here actually. Stay to the right of your lane because people do struggle to fit past on the left as it is a narrow lane on the left. Okay. So if you stay to your right of your lane here, it will help. 
So we're going right, remember the routine? Mirror, Mirrors, signal. signal. You're a little bit slow, so we go a little bit faster. That's it, we're already in second gear. Say when to ignore the lights. Stop the no. car oh. and clutch down. Okay, so we have stalled there because I stopped you. Okay. Because we, we didn't need to ignore at that point. We could stop, couldn't we? I thought we could just ignore if, it. If we can stop, we should. Okay. So that's how you're going to build and learn your judgment. So if you can push the clutch down now and put it into first gear. There you go. Keep your foot on the brake. Yeah. Good. So it's your car. Turn the key so the engine's on. Now keep looking at the road. Try not to look at me. Look at the road, look at the light. See the secondary light, the one that's further ahead? Yeah. That's to help you see. Or you can look at that one up there, I'm at that one. which is harder to see. And you've got secondary lights on the right. Remember, they are for those cars over there. Okay. They're not for you, so don't look at them. The lights are for the line. So when we're past that line, we finish when it's safe. Okay. We don't look at the lights when we're past the line, finish when it's safe. The lights can help you tell if the oncoming car's gonna stop though. Okay. Because if they go red, you know well, they're gonna stop if we're waiting in the middle, and yeah. we'll be able to go. So it's time to go, Let's roll into the middle, you can do it. That's it, clutch down, let it walk. It's a bit more right, you're drifting into left lane a little bit there. And we turn before the dirt, before the middle, and now it's gone, they're gone, we can go. Gas and bike point, look at your exit. That's it, add steering, leave the clutch up, don't slow down, leave the clutch up. Now slowly start to straighten like this, and you yeah. see, you'll figure it out. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah? Further from the kerb, look at the space between the kerb and the oncoming car and use that space. And try and focus on your steering more than the gear. So focus on your steering now. Do the gear as well, oh. but focus on your steering as you do it. That's it, good. I like how you're aiming for the space next to the parked car. You're not aiming at the parked car and gonna jump out like a jack-in-the-box to that oncoming red car. They know, that red car knows you're coming through because you're positioned. So don't go for the clutch, go for the brake if you need to slow down. Oh, it's green still. The road bends to the right here at the traffic lights. So cover brake and we'll walk before we stop. So clutch down, that's it, get it slower. Off the brake now, so you walk, get first gear. And now you're walking, it's easy to place the car. And now stop at the line with the brake. Make sure you don't go over that line. You stop a little bit before, but not over it, not okay. past it. And now it's green. Just check your mirrors as you do your gas and bike point to go. Just in case someone else is passing like the bike did, the motorbike. So the road bends to the right, doesn't it? Yeah. That's good. Try to stay off the yellow line so you're not too close to the curb. You're not on them yet, but a lot of people go on these yellow lines here because okay. they turn too early for the bend. Focus on your steering, but do the gear. Great. Now you see the danger comes from the sides here. So go in the middle. Looks like we're going to be first. So we will go through. Oncoming car will let us finish. Check for cyclists on my side and then bring it back so there's room for oncoming cars. Lovely. So you're getting better. How you feel? Terrified. Terrified? Yeah. Feels better. I don't feel terrified. I do. I feel comfortable. You're making me feel very comfortable at the moment. Yeah, because I'm terrified so I'm being very... So off. You're being sensible. You're being sensible That's what you're doing. You're driving within your ability. I like how you're slow because we're near the cars. If we're near the parked cars, we need to be slow. Yeah. If you can go in the middle here, you can go fast, but someone could walk out from this van. Yeah. That door could open. You need to be ready for it. If you're responsible, you'll be ready for it. Now there's no oncoming cars, or in the middle, right? Now there's no oncoming cars. You can move to the middle and go a bit faster because you've got your distance. Now there's an oncoming car, slow down and get closer to the parked cars again. See, but check your mirrors as you do that. So the road bends to the right here. Can you see that? Bit of gas just to keep going, that's it. Right at the traffic lights, so off the gas, it's mirrors, good. We're already slow, now walk, clutch down, bit more brake, bit more brake, get it walking, bit more brake, so it walks really slow, and then you've got time to get first. I'm just gonna stop you here, because we don't wanna go over the line. Yep. We've got to stop at that okay. first line there, we're about to go over that line there. Okay. Try and get the car slow enough in that walk, that you have time to get first gear. Look forwards, it's time to go. Gas and bite point, and go near the middle, remember? Near that white line in the middle? Yeah. Over here, clutch up to the bite point. Oh, that's all right, bring it up. Can you make it? And you can go. Yeah. No one coming, look, you can go. Bit of gas to carry on. And then second gear, but aim for the space next to the parked car. Lovely position. 
I really like this position because it feels like we're driving down the road. It doesn't feel like we're driving at parked cars. You're no longer following these lines in the middle. You're using available space. Yeah. There's parked cars everywhere. You have to learn to deal with this. That's good. And you see how the cars come out to you? Yeah. You move out as well. Don't get closer to them. You can do it. A little bit closer to this Mini. Yeah, that made me feel a bit uncomfortable because if a door opened, that could be dangerous. And a bit more right here, that's better. Just go through the center of this gap between the curbs. It's a very narrow one here. This is here to make you slow. And now you can look up the road. Look how big that space is. Very. You've got the red car, maybe not at the red car, <laughs> at the space. That was probably a bit too, bit too confident there using your space. Sorry. This is better. Lovely. You've got a night, you've got over a doors width from the cars on the left. Plenty of room. I feel comfortable. And can you see how the parked cars are starting to get closer and closer to the middle of the road? Yeah. Try and keep your distance. If there's an oncoming car, you may have to get closer to the parked cars. Okay. If you start getting closer, it feels sketchy, slow down. Take responsibility for people stepping out and doors opening. I've had a kid in nappies walk out between parked cars on a road like this before. What? Yeah. What's their parents doing? That's what people say. Irrelevant. That can happen. You've got to be ready to deal with it. Yeah. If you run over a kid, how are you going to feel? A bit Off depressed. the gas. So, next road right. Mirror signal right. Slow down a bit more with the brake. Get second gear. I'll help with your position here so we're not in the middle. And clutch up gently. Can we go after this car? Yeah. So, look into your road, steer. Go and steer. Now slowly start to straighten, really slowly start to straighten, and then you'll know when to do it. Turn it with your hands though, don't let go of the wheel. It didn't straighten quick enough there because you were letting itself straighten, Yeah. and it needed a bit more help there. Try and turn it with your hands. Okay. But it felt more comfortable because you started straightening before you needed it. It just wasn't fast enough. Yeah. and then pull over in a safe place. Show me your best stop. You did a really good one last time. Remember your mirrors. Like when you use the clutch. Wrong pedal. <laughs> you thought you were over the brake there, didn't you? Yeah. Okay. So handbrake for which pedal? Just do one at a time, that's it. Then your brain learns which hand control does which pedal. Good, and we will see. Oh, this wasn't my best one. I'm just terrified. I was just, that was awful. It's your third one, your third go. You I don't, don't like brilliantly. it. Brilliantly, that's your distance, look. That's all right, I'll take it. It's okay, it could be closer. You were closer. I'll take it. But when the engine revved, because you pressed the gas instead of the brake, oh, you like started that. drifting out a little bit, because then your attention yeah. changed. You see what I mean? It is about, yeah. it's about your attention as much as oh, anything, or you're not the, uh, it was in the way when I was trying to, I was trying uh, to press the gas and at one point it was like smacking into my leg so I think I might have just I think I need to adjust it, I might adjust that in a bit. Sorry guys, if you can't see that. I think just the clutch, well, yeah, that was the only thing you couldn't see. You could see, you could definitely see the mistake I made at the end. That's alright. So, anything on that route that you need to talk about? Everything, it was awful. What's the first thing that comes to your head? Stalling. Did we stall? Oh, the second time we did. Oh, this, this route, um... Braking, going, You did stall, but I can't steering. remember when that was. Very first, lights. You stalled because you... Yeah, you did, yeah. I have never stalled like that. Like, no, I this stalled. Car. I stalled you. Did you? Yeah, because Why? I stopped you. Because you said ignore the lights, didn't you? Oh, yeah. And I, was that really early? It, we were very slow. We could stop by that line in that time we had. Oh, so it's okay. not about distance, it's about time. Oh, okay. That's why I say three seconds is amber. But when they went amber, it's like, yeah, we can stop. We don't have to slam on the brakes. It's fine. So I, f I had time to prompt you first. I said, stop the car. I don't have time to wait a long time. I haven't got that long. You weren't stopping. So then I thought I'd just brake and make sure we didn't cross the line when it was red. Oh, okay. Because you're doing it based on the last line, not the first line. Okay. So if you've got time to stop by the last line, those two lines, if you've got yeah. time to stop by the second one, you should still stop. Okay. Um, ideally stop at the first, but you don't have time, you can stop at the second line. Okay. 
And then the reason why I stalled you was because I don't want to press the clutch down when you're mid-driving, if I can avoid it. Why? Because when the clutch pedal goes down, you don't know where it is. And that will confuse you even more, won't it? Oh, yeah. So if I, if I stop again. you, I generally just use the brake. Oh, okay. And if you get the clutch down, you do, if not, you don't, and it stalls. That's fine. Okay. And then you can restart the car. But try to look forwards, if you can, when we're waiting. Even if, I, even if I'm talking to you, oh, okay. keep your attention. I know you want to look. It's, it's normal social behaviour, isn't it? When someone's talking to you, to look at them. It's yeah. a bit weird to look away. But when you're waiting at traffic lights, look forwards. Okay. So I'll ignore you when you don't exist. I'll go away, Richard. So I think you need to ignore the lights later, especially okay. when you're that slow. Anything else? Um... A lot of things, really. I'm trying to point out, pinpoint the biggest thing. I still think slowing down on time is a really big issue. And the, the steering too much. And so I just let it go as well when I'm trying to let it feed You're not going to improve that like... I want to. It's going to take time. That was better. That was an improvement. Remember, focus on the braking. Get it walking two car lengths before the line. Make it a bit earlier if you feel you're struggling. Okay. And as the car rolls, you can do your gear and you'll find it easier to finish the stop. That's how you place the car. Instead of stopping in one go, stop. You slow down, roll, stop. And you slow place down, it where stop. you want to. And that rolling time gives you time to compose yourself, change gear, think about what you're doing. When the lights change as you're rolling, it's easy to carry on. Yeah. What you don't want to do is come in quick, stop, and just as you stop and you're still in third gear, the lights change to green. Now you're panicking and flustered trying to get going. Yeah. Can you not set off the third gear? possible but it will damage the clutch. The clutch won't like it very much. No. The higher the gear you move away you move away in, the harder it is for the engine and the clutch. So you could put away in sixth gear, just the engine would not or the clutch would I'm sure I could make it happen, but I wouldn't do it. The clutch would not be happy with it. It would be all on the clutch doing that, yeah. You'd be you'd have revs from the engine, the engine's gonna struggle to turn the car. It's like being in a high gear in a bike. So it's gonna struggle to turn the wheels more mm. and the minimum speed of six is higher, so you're gonna have to get the car to about 25, 30 miles an hour before you're able to come off the clutch fully. It could take ages. You'd be at that bite point for ages, pressing gas, and it was and it slowed really slowly. And your leg will be shaking as well, but oh, I thought we'd get off now. Maybe depends. Um, depends on how experienced you are. With your, cause your leg muscles build up over time. I okay. Don't leg muscles. So, do you want to practice? Yeah. Nice. See, I'm quiet. I. Yeah, because you've got a good position. You've changed mm -hmm. gear nicely. I don't want to be rude, but I'm not really paying attention to you. I'm paying attention to the road, trying good. to fly everywhere. Now you see the parked car? Yeah. Start slowing down. This is your fourth go. This is already way better. Look, you've got a good position approaching. Get to second, don't forget that. I wouldn't go on the wrong side yet. A bit more brake bit more brake so you get there after this red car clutch up and then you check your mirrors and carry on in the silver car is waiting aren't they yeah they've seen you they are waiting and the mirrors to come back traffic lights right remember your position yep you notice I'm starting to ask you questions more now instead of telling you what to do yeah what's the first thing you do so the routine mirrors. yep Signal. Good, you're picking this up really quickly. Position yourself to the right of this lane though, please. A little bit faster, because we are, we are slowing down a bit too early here. So There's a narrow lane on the left. Go a bit quicker, you might, you might make it past here. A bit more to the right. Say when to ignore. No. Good. Now brake and clutch down. And just turn to the right a bit there. First gear, and now we've got to finish. So gas and lift clutch to go. There we go, now we've finished. That was a bit of bad timing, wasn't it? Just as we got there, that car was coming. Yeah. Now straight and slowly. You just notice how you're letting go of the wheel? Yeah. Turn it with your hands. Okay. Although to be fair, that was the best one you did. I'll take it. <laughs> but it's still dodgy, because you're letting go and st stopping it, letting go and stopping it, kind of straightening, stop straightening, straightening, stop straightening. Yeah. Do it with your hands, be smooth. Okay. Good position, aiming past the parked car. Massive improvement. Town centre on the side, see how the thick line bends to the right? Yeah. That generally means that's the road ahead. Oh, okay. So you're just following it round to the right. It's not written in a book anywhere, but that's what I've noticed from driving around. So cover brake, walk 
before you stop. It's gone green, hasn't it? Carry on, bend to the right, ignore now. Now I feel like if we had to stop, it would be rushed. So you're better off using the gas to get past. If you ignore, get past. Don't go really slow. Okay. Do get past. Good, you're aiming for the space. Check your centre right mirror, remember, before you move out. We're here first now, aren't we? Yes. Doors can open, people can step out. Remember the cyclist on my left? Yep. This one here, can you see them? Don't know on your left. Good. You don't know until you look. I was looking, I was like, what the hell are you all about? Good position, really light as you're starting to use the space now. Been a bit greedy there, a little bit greedy. Sorry. Try not to take more than half. So take half and give half. Or ask for half if you're approaching a row of parked cars, you can ask. At the moment, you're, more, you're already out, so you're sort of taking it. And now, if I was you, get in the middle and go a bit faster so we get some more of this done. A bit more to the right, a little bit faster. That's it. Now, slow down as we approach the bend in case someone comes around that bend as we're in the middle of the road past the silver car. Remember the cyclist on my left before you turn? Traffic lights right. So do the routine. A little bit more gas, we're a little bit early. It's green, so we want to carry on, don't we? That's it. Now cover the brake and stop. You will stop. Brake more, clutch down, brake more, harder, harder, harder. So you want to brake more to begin with and less later. Okay. Then it's smoother. You did make it though. I was about to help, but you made that. Yeah, what it was a bit of a. Before you, what do you need to do? Good. And anything else? Good. You're learning. See the line in the middle? Yeah. I've had to steer you every time. See if you can get yourself next to that line this time. Because no, you tend to go straight. We need to move to the right there in that little waiting area in the middle to mm. help cars behind pass. So you, see if you can do that now. Just check your right mirror as you do it. That's it. Good. Now clutch down. Cover brake and use the brake to control your speed. Don't go into the other side until you're going to go. Are you going to go? Yeah. Gas and bike point, then go. That's it. Now you can turn. Don't look at the pedestrians, look at the space. That's too fast. Yeah, too much steering there. Sorry. Change gear. Good. Second gear. Yeah, you don't want to look at the pedestrians because that makes it look like you're giving way to them. Ah. Be yeah. aware of them, but not eye contact. Don't stare. Oh, I didn't make eye contact. Your that? steering there was very abrupt and sudden and not measured. Okay. And you steered it towards the island. You want to just be a bit more careful with that. Okay. And don't turn right until you've got your gas and bike point. Okay. Because you want to coast into the other side of the road and be a seat, sitting duck. Sitting duck. Sitting duck, you know. We're yeah, still, no, If we're still there or we have no power there, it's not good. Like your position from the cars. Remember your cyclist here? Try and do that before you turn. So we do that as we're passing. I need to remind you earlier. It's partially my fault, to be fair. See yeah, the gap? My fault. I can't ever do it. No, I need to remind you. I've got to remind you before, you before I can expect you to do it yourself. And I keep reminding you late. So I think that's my fault. It's carrying up the road. Go. How fast should you go? About 25, 30. As fast as you can. Legally, safely. Which the legal limit is 30. So the number is irrelevant. It's a feeling. As fast as you can. And if you reach 30, that's your lot. You can't go more than that. Yeah. So just drive comfortably based on the situation. You're near 30 actually, aren't you? So that's now you're near 30, you want to be thinking, okay, I might watch that speed. Well, not watch it, but glance at the speed every so often to make sure I don't go over it. You're actually doing pretty well at doing that, to be fair. So you've got a lorry and you've got a mobility scooter. Is the lorry going to wait? Looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. It's their position. I'm glad that you slow down a little bit because you are closer to those cars, but now you've got a bit more room. Now you've got further. Pedestrians waiting? Yeah. Yes, they are. Don't encourage them. It's only really when you're turning into and out of side roads where you, you should be thinking about giving way, not when you're on a main road like this driving straight. So off the gas, we're turning right. Do the routine. Where is signal? Good. I would slow down, give yourself more time. What's the next thing? Speed. Yeah. Gear. Fast. Ignore the lights now. We're going on through. Seconds, so clutch down. Oh. In fact, clutch down now. Don't do seconds. We run out of time. Just brake to stop near the middle, like I showed you last time, or the time before last time. Like that. First gear. And when it's safe, gas and bike point, measure your steering. Don't just whack on the whole load of steering. Try and measure it this time. Look where you're going. Add steering. A bit quicker. That's better. Now, straighten it yourself. Put your hands. Come on. Good. Bit late. But if you do it yourself, you'll get better. Just got to do what you did then, 
ten times, and I think you'll be better. Okay. I think we're going to ask to blow over this that. This steering is so much better. Look at that. You did your gear change, straight as an arrow. Beautiful. Slow down, brake, brake. Because if we go slow now, off the brake now, we'll be at this parked car when the oncoming car is gone. See that? Okay. Do that as much as you can. Okay. Check your mirrors now. Good. And I'll try and be early this time. Check the cyclist here. Good. And then steer back. So that's when you want to do it, before you steer, not as you steer. And make your way down the road. How are you feeling? Feeling any better? Mm. Still a bit scared, but it's not as bad. I'm feeling better. Although at the moment we are on those yellow lines, that's better. That's nice. So we will pull over at the side of the road, but we don't want to double park, which means parking with a car on the other side of the road. Okay. Block the road. So after this learner on the right, we'll stop on the left. So keep your speed a bit longer as we end up stopping before them or next to them. So do your routine to stop. Good. Done your mirrors, done your signal. Make sure you don't stop until you're happy with your position. So come off that brake if you want to roll a bit more and line up better. Good. Which pedal, which foot? Uh, which pedal, which foot? What am I talking about? Which foot, which hand control? So handbrake up means can you can... Come off the brake. Neutral means... I can come off the clutch. Good, I was very confusing there for what I said. I confused myself. How far do you think you are from the kerb? Oh, about a drain width, hopefully. About 1.5 drain widths. Oh, that's, that's a bit far. You want to be closer than that, don't you? So you think you're too far? I think I'm a little bit too far. I mean, ideally, half the drain's width. How close am I? We'll see. What would you say? Bad oh. drain's width. Oh, that's good. Yeah, again. Oh, so. Well, it's, you want to be within. Yeah. So this is like maximum. Try and trim this down. Okay. Just try and get a bit closer, and as you get more experience, you get better at that. Um, again, you were closer to the curb during the stop, but you're steering just a bit too right as, you, as you're finishing. Okay. So when you look down at the curb, like you are now, you see where the curb is at the bottom of the window. It's out now. I have a slouch because oh, thank God I'm relaxing. So look down yeah. at the curb. You can see the curb at the bottom of the window. Yeah. That's a good way of guessing roughly where you are, how far you are from the curb. Yeah. But it's terrible at knowing whether or not you're going left, straight or right. Yeah. Look at that car that's parked up ahead. Yeah. Look up there as well to help you judge if you're straight. So okay. try to switch between looking at the curb, looking up, looking at the curb, looking up. Try and do both. Looking up to mm. see if you're straight, looking down to see if you're close. Okay. If you only do one, the other one's not going to be so good. Yeah, so that's why you can see the steering wheel as well, it's already a bit. How was that time? Better, but still scary. I think I think you're a lot more independent. You're straighter when you're changing gear. You're aiming for the space instead of the parked cars. You've picked it up quickly. Yes. Um, your timing needs to be better. Um, I think that, like when we got to the traffic lights, we were really slow, really early. And I was thinking like, this is a bit too slow now. So I encourage you to go yeah. a little bit quicker. But then we were a bit fast when we were in the junction. Yeah. So your timing of when to slow down, I think that could use some practice. Okay. Especially when you're dealing with parked cars. You see a parked car, try not to get to the parked car until the oncoming car is gone. Right. So early on, adjust your speed. Makes you got a green slower. light, you think you're going through, carry on, go at a speed where you can stop if you need to. You are turning right. So that's why I say a red light is a walker. So if it's a red light, just get the car walking and stop. Mm -hmm. If it's a green light, get the car jogging. The trouble is, this is what I mean by your timing, you're jogging way too early, way too far back. So we're jogging, we're sort of like not even near the split in the lanes yet. Right, yeah. And so we're jogging all the way there. So try and jog uh, three or four seconds before the line, something like that. Okay. And then you can decide, decide, stop at the line or roll into the middle. And then when you're in the middle, obviously if there's oncoming cars, slow it right down to a walk to hopefully let the oncoming cars clear. Yeah. And then we can go okay. without maybe even needing to stop if we do it well. Hopefully, we'll try. But that's, that's a big improvement. I'm, I'm very happy with that. Okay, I'll take that as a win then. So we're near the end of the lesson now and I'm gonna show you one final circle or Emily is gonna show you what she has achieved so far. I think you've got better. We did one more off camera 
and I don't feel like I need to say as much this time. Let's see how you do. You ready? Yeah. You can do it. Let's okay. go. I'm feeling much more uh, confident in you. I think you need to have a bit more confidence in yourself. Indicate right, that's it, oncoming cars. And cancel the ticker. So try to stay on your side of the road, remember, until you decide to go around that parked car. Tell me when you're gonna commit. Now. Okay. What about the cyclist? Thank you. Traffic lights, I would like you to go right. Do you remember what position you need? Do you remember the routine? Yeah. I'm a bit slow, but it's just... okay. Should you do first gear as you walk? Good. This time, and for the first time, we actually have a car turning before us, that black Hyundai. See it? Yeah. They're going to turn before us, before the white arrows on the road, and we'll turn before them. Okay. Although we've got cars to wait for, currently they don't. Yeah. Hopefully we'll get a load of cars next to us, and they'll have to wait, and then we'll be able to see. You'll be able to actually see it happen in action. Don't think so. No. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. It's wishful thinking. Yeah. That's why when it's actually busy, it's, it's usually better to learn this here. Mm. You get that opportunity. Cool, these are taking a while. Just out of thinking, oh my God. Just as you say that, they change. You see how they turn before you there? Yeah. Like that? So now slow down. That's it. Brake a little bit, maybe. Don't go in their way. Good. Good. Yeah, you can do it. That's it. Maybe a bit more steering. Now, with your hands, slowly. That's it. See? Yes. Well done. Excellent. Maybe a bit quicker now. Should you check your mirrors to your right, centre right mirror before moving out? Yeah. No, I'm not committed yet. Oh, no, you should move out early here. So this move, one? Yeah, yeah. Because with this one, you can fit with the oncoming cars. Okay. So you want to be asking early that you're going to go through. With the other one, you have to give way. Okay. So now check the cyclist. So they're green. Road bends to the right. Say when to ignore. Now. Now. Oh. I think when you said it, you could still stop. Yeah. And you might not, given your speed, you might not have passed it in time. Off the yellows if you can, which is very close to the curb there, that's better. Should you let them finish? Yeah. Break more now, break more now. Stay near the middle though. I'll help with your position. A bit more brake, clutch down. That's it. And then first gear, and now you're here. Are they gonna let you go? They should. And they're not now, so brake and stop. Try not to steer towards the curb, just slow down and now go through. Because you're a bit slow, that's why they came through. They were actually oh. starting to give way to you, I saw their position and their speed. Yeah. And they noticed you weren't going, so then they come through. Okay. When you're more experienced, that won't happen as often because you'll be quicker at moving away. Yeah. But try not to steer towards the cars when you wait. Okay. Just wait. All you're doing is putting yourself closer to the danger and there's room for them to come through, so it's fine. Like your speed, like your gear change, much more experienced. What's the danger here? Keep walking out of that car there. That's right. So you're being a bit greedy. That's better. Try not to be too generous or too greedy. Take half, give half. Now you can take the space as no one's coming. That's good. And check that cyclist. So traffic lights right. Red light means walker. So do your walking. Mirror signal walk. Focus on your braking. What's up, which way are we going? Brake, focus on braking, focus on braking. That's it, a bit more brake. Gear one. Which way do we think we're going? Right. Okay, so signal, and you can do that. Near that white line in the middle, remember? Get near the middle, 
I hope she's not turning. So you need to be near this white line in the middle. Can you go? Yeah. Go on then. Now with your hands, slowly start straightening. Good, better. So you know you've got to get near that middle. You don't like doing that, do you? You've done it once so far. Why don't you like doing that, do you think? I'm, I'm scared of it. What are you scared of? So I'm like barreling through. I'm that's your side. Of, that's, well. that's your space. They're not going to go. Oh. They're not going to I'm going to go too far or if I start steering too early, I'll crash into the island. And because I had to steer quite a bit as it was late, that's why the signal cancelled. Mm. If you did it gently and early, it'll be fine. Break a little bit. That looks really narrow, really slow, really, really slow. That feels more comfortable. That's it. And then Karen, if you're less than half a metre from something, mm. bottom of second gear or near yeah. the, 10 miles an hour -ish, then it makes it safe. Show me your good aim through that gap. Can you go faster? Spot on, bang in the middle. Starting to drive towards that part car, that's better. Remember the road gets more narrow as we go up the road. You see how the parked cars are getting closer to the middle of the road? Yeah. Try and maintain your gap from the parked cars. That means you will use more of this hatched area. It's rule 130 in the highway code, this hatched area, I believe. You can use it if you need to, if it's a broken line. Mm -hmm. If it's a solid line, bordering it, yeah. then you should only use it when you absolutely must. Overtaking or something? Like an emergency or you can't avoid it. Oh, it's unavoidable is the wording from memory in the highway code. Cyclist over here? Was there one? No. Good. And uh, next road right, please. Routine. That's it. Start getting second as you slow down. You'll be ready. And don't go in the middle on this one. That's four. Don't go in the middle on this one. That's here. Clutch up. Stop or go. What do you think? Go. Go on then. Now, slowly. I helped you there because you're going a bit faster than usual yeah. and I felt you might need that there. Didn't want to go into the island in the middle. You do need more practice with that but it will come with time. You're getting better, that's for sure. And just pull over on the left in the safe place. Give me your best stop. Remember your mirrors. Feel the car struggling? Yeah. It's going to stall, isn't it? Oh, I just made it. Just about made it there. Good position. I think that's what you were focusing on, wasn't it? I was focusing on trying to get to the bottom of the gear. You don't have to wait to then... the very bottom. Okay. That's why I say around a thousand. And if you know you're stopping, if you know you're stopping, when, you're near, when your revs are low, just push it down. It's more if you are planning not to stop and you're planning to continue, you don't want to press the clutch down unless you need to. You might just be able to slow down and go back to the gas again. But as you are stopping here, if you get the clutch down a bit early, it doesn't actually matter too much. Okay. Okay, so, oh. I think, how's the lesson been? It's been stressful and torture. No, it's been really... I've got to think. It's been really fun. I've enjoyed okay. it. it. Sounds like there's a butt coming. But, well, I, oh, definitely feel like I, feel, I feel like I was ready as well for this. Good. But it was... Not overwhelming, but there was a lot to it. But I feel, but definitely, I feel like it's within my range. It's just the next step up. So it was re really fun and really good. I'm not saying you're a horrible person making me do this, but I'm just, it was scary as well. Trying to get over my fear of being part of the general public as well, because I'm so used to the nursery area, the little baby area, there's about one other person there, and they're all learners. And this one, there's actual people around. So what you're learning here is Main actually roads. is taking your time, doing things in your own time, being yourself, even though there's people around you. Yeah, it's terrifying. That's a, that's a life lesson. And that'll go on for the rest of your life. Doesn't matter how you drive, there's gonna be people who tell you how to drive. Right. You try and drive safely, you'll have people get angry with you. Right. You then respond to them by driving faster, you'll have people who get angry with you. You can't please everyone, please yourself. Okay. Do what you think is important. Yeah, so it's not like a massive, but I hate you, I hate this lesson, I hate driving, I'm going to cry. 
it's more just it wasn't overwhelming i'm glad you said that because that's my goal challenging but not overwhelming it definitely was challenging mm. definitely... you need more practice well, i think we'll practice this more probably off camera give you more experience yeah. and i have another right uh, right traffic light route as well that i do with people just to get even more practice with that okay and your your right turns will improve if you're trying to improve them i am yeah. what i mean is if you let go of the wheel you won't get better at controlling it yourself that's what i've stopped you, yeah I, and, I go to it but no hands on the wheel and turn it back yourself letting go of the wheel um it can work, but you've got to be quite experienced to know your car. Different cars straighten up at different rates. Mm. I remember my friend driving me once in his dad's car, and he was used to his car. Yeah. This was years ago, but it was like you know, 20 years ago or something. <laughs> a little shiver there? Yeah, it's cold in there. And he was used to how quick his car straightened up. Yeah. He got in his dad's car, his 250 brake horsepower car, pulled out, turning right, put his foot down, nearly drove into an oncoming car, because it didn't straighten as quick as he was used to. And then he was like, whoa, 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 floundering, floundering with the wheel because different cars do straighten differently. Oh, okay. They're all different. You need to have that skill of knowing how to turn the wheel. Um, once you're experienced with your car and you have that skill, it doesn't matter as much. But certainly okay. when you're changing car, control the wheel. Okay. Right, I'm going to end the lesson here. If you, oh, no. if you found the video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're looking for car insurance, check out the links to Collingwood and Confused in the description. If you're learning to drive and want to insure yourself on somebody else's car, then Collingwood are there for you because you can do so without affecting the owner's policy. And that takes away stress from the owner of that car. Using the links, there's up to 35% off and a £20 Amazon gift card. If you want to insure your own car, check out the link to confused.com because you fill out one quote form and get loads of quotes back from many insurers to compare who's cheapest and if you're trying to find out how much it costs to insure different cars say you're shopping around for cars you can fill out one quote form and just change the car and recalculate as many times as you like to see how much it costs to insure those different cars using the links doesn't cost you anything but it does support the channel so thank you very much subscribe to get my future videos and until the next one cheerio